Hey everyone, there was a question that came up in my Facebook group about renewing listings. And this question comes up kind of a lot, like when is it better to renew a listing as is or rework it and renew it or just publish a whole new listing? So I've decided to go in and we're going to take one of these listings that I have that I probably put up 10 years ago when I first started on Etsy and it's terrible. First of all, this is the worst title I've ever seen. You know, you do it wrong the first time, but you don't realize it and you say, I'll go back and fix it later. And then 10 years later, you're like, oh, I probably should work on that. It only has one photo. I haven't even looked at the description, which does not count for Etsy purposes as far as, yeah, the, these are uh, like links to other listings, which is fine. Um, I am going to go in and rework this. But what I was thinking is that I would rework it and then I would publish a copy of it immediately. And a copy counts as a brand new listing. Etsy sees it as a brand new listing. and what we're going to do is advertise both and see which one Etsy picks up. And they'll both pretty much be exactly the same. I want to see which one, whether it's renewed and has a history attached to it, or whether it's a copy of it, which is a brand new listing, which one works best. So first I'm going to add some more photos and I have these photos ready to go. I am going to go back and add a video so that the whole thing will be complete, like as far as Etsy likes it. So here's the video. I'm going to go put that in. But let's just rewrite this title. Um, let's see, Christmas, it is a Christmas wreath silicone mold. So great, that's exactly what I'm putting in in there. And I'm gonna put in the size for fondant or gum paste, cupcake toppers, food safe silicone. Um, I'm gonna put FDA approved food safe silicone because it is. And I'm telling people stuff about this in the title because I want the customer to see that because half the time Etsy hides the description, right? FDA approved food safe silicone. Also, these are keywords. Food safe silicone is something that people would search for if they're looking for cake decorating stuff. And I can't put for cake decorating, but I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay, so that's not really, you know, it kind of trails off at the end. It's not really grammatically correct, but that's okay. So it is a supply, I do make it to order. I think this is just made to order, right? This is a handmade supply. Now I'm gonna choose every single category that I can here, and you're gonna see different attributes based on what you're listing. So it doesn't, you know, if you don't see the same thing that you are seeing here, it's because you're putting things in a different category and they give you different attributes to choose. But in mine, they, they put them in craft supplies and tools. I'll just leave it the way that it was, okay? It is silicone, it is yellow, it is food safe. There's no secondary color. There's no, well, occasion, I guess. Okay, occasion, no. Holiday, yes. This is a Christmas wreath. It's actually an autumn wreath. I think it's got pine cones on it, but that's okay. I'm going to look at the description really quickly. The description is not used in Etsy search, and Google rarely will see it. Google will read your whole description if they index your listing page, which Google doesn't necessarily do. Just because a page is on the internet, it doesn't mean that Google puts it on Google. And I don't think that people understand that. But anyway. Um, it, it's very unusual that they're going to dig deep into Etsy to find a listing for a silicone mold. Um, I'm actually going to move this up to the top, okay, because I want people to see that kind of toward the top just for the customer's information. And then this is a link back to the home page. So we'll leave that there. Now, this is where we get uh, a little, you know, I th these are terrible tags. I'm going to take all of them out. They're like one word tags, they're terrible. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do wreath mold. Now, do I have silicone wreath mold? Christmas wreath silicone mold. Okay, so mm, now see, this is where I, I would go into marmalade. I'm gonna pause this while I go into marmalade. Here we are in marmalade. All right, now this is, people have been saying, why do you need marmalade if Etsy isn't doing the search with the matching words? Well, the matching terms are still important. It's just not, it's critical as you think, and it's a different way of thinking about search, but an exact word order match still does matter. So what I wanna do is look to see which one of these, now technically this one is included in this one and this one, okay? So if I'm looking at all these, first I'm looking at the competition. So Christmas wreath mold or silicone wreath mold really is what I'm looking at because wreath mold is included in both of those. So I'm just gonna take that out, okay? Now I know that wreath mold had, it said over 26 searches, which I assume is a little bit low. And Christmas wreath mold has under 25, as does this, but I also assume that's a little bit low. And the competition is low for both of these. Silicone wreath mold, Christmas wreath mold. 
Silicone mold is the competition is way too high. That's too general because if people are searching for a wreath mold, they're not going to just type in silicone mold. So I'm not going to use this word order. So we'll do that. So basically we're down to silicone wreath mold or Christmas wreath mold. Okay. Which one has the lower competition? Um, the silicone wreath mold does, but it's very close. And I'm going to do Christmas wreath mold because that's kind of what it is. Okay. It, it is actually, it has pine cones. It doesn't have lights, but I think it's close enough. And I'm going to do Christmas wreath mold because that's kind of like silicone Christmas wreath mold is what I'm going to put in there. So I'll have the exact word order match for that. And this is what I'll put in the tags. Okay. So we're going, was it Christmas? I've forgotten already. Silicone Christmas wreath mold. So I'm changing the title. Don't do the whole title. I'll have to rewrite that again. Silicone Christmas wreath mold. Okay. And I'm going to take Christmas wreath mold here and put that in the tags down here. Where's the tags? Come on, tags. Now I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it all fits. I'm not sure if that's too long. Too long. Okay. So Christmas. Well, okay, well, in that case, I'm going to put silicone Christmas wreath mold and just divide it into two tags. The point is you want to do the best word order for whatever logic you're using, and that's that's my logic. And you see I'm not sitting here sweating this out for 20 minutes worrying about it. You're going to be found for all of the combinations of words. It doesn't matter. The exact word order match might help you a little bit. So we have silicone Christmas wreath mold, and I'm going to just hit add. That puts it in there in the right order. And now I'm just going to fill in with other things about it. All right, so that's basically the whole listing. So let's renew this. So I've published it. Now I'm going to go find it again. It was down here. It's still here. So let's make a copy. I'm not going to go through and do a new one. It's the same, it's the same thing, but when you copy it, you're publishing the copy, you're creating a new listing. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing as going through and doing the whole thing again. The copy function is a, a time saver and I'm gonna do that. There we go. So now I've got two of these, which is fine because I can make two. And we're gonna go and turn on the ads for this because I want to see, like I want to get some fast action on it. And this is November 13th. So if people are going to buy this for Christmas, it's gonna be within the next few weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and advertise this. And they're the only ones I'm advertising. So I just want to gather some information about the keywords that Etsy is using to show them for. And then we can actually look back at the stats. I'll take, I'll go in and take a screenshot of the stats now so that I know what the original keywords were for that first one. Hi everyone. So this is the first check-in that I'm doing for this little experiment. And just, you know, remember there's no real way that you can 100% test anything on Etsy because you can't control variables. You just have to put things up and see what happens. And then maybe there's a conclusion that you could draw, maybe not. But I just sold one of these and it is the old one. Now, the interesting thing is I put this C on here to indicate that this is the copy because otherwise they're both exactly the same. I listed them at the same time and I put both of them on ads and I haven't checked to see how much the ads are costing, but I'll do that in just a sec. But Etsy is showing the new one in ads, and this is not an organic search, this is just in the ads. It's showing this a lot more, okay? It's showing this, it, it showed it to people 5,028 times as opposed to 867. 25 people clicked on this, only seven people clicked on the old one, but the old one is the one that sold. It doesn't necessarily mean anything because they're exactly the same, but I do wanna check out real quick, let me just grab the calculator here. And we will see what the cost, if the, you know, if the ad cost is the same, it got seven clicks. So this one is costing 17, the old one is costing about 17 cents, 16.8 cents per click. And this one is $5.96. I don't know why I closed the calculator out. $5.96 divided by 25 clicks, that one was. So this one is costing 24 cents a click. Now, it's, it's quite interesting to me that they're exactly the same, but the cost of clicks is so different because this one was 17 and this one was 24. That adds up, you know, after a certain amount of time. And, but I thought it would be interesting to look to see how they're treating them in, in ads. 
I really want to look at the keywords and then I want to look at my Google Analytics after these are up for a couple of weeks just to see where they're being seen, where they're being clicked on, are they being found in organic search, which one is being sold, like shown more in organic search, is one selling more than the others. Now, my guess is that because this one sold and it's the older one, and I think that's just chance because, you know, either one could have been shown. Either one could have been clicked on. They're the same thing. Everything is the same. But I think that because this one got an order, they're going to start showing this one more. And my guess also is that the cost per click is going to go up. I just filmed the first part of this a few days ago. This has just been advertised for a few days. It hasn't been you know, out there too long. But I wanted to show you this because I think it's interesting that they're actually showing the new one more often in ads but the old one is the one that sold, you know, and like I said, it's pure luck. There's no, there's no rationale for it. There's no reason. It's just, what did the customer happen to click on? What did the customer happen to buy? Etsy can't control that because the customer is the one with the credit card, not Etsy. But when I get into the organic search stats, we'll take a look at that and see what really happens. And I will talk to you guys next week.